Hello everyone, Joanne with stampinginthevalley.stampinup.net and it's time for Paper Pumpkin and this is, one is very special. This is the greatest time to sign up for Paper Pumpkin because of the holiday season coming up. So we'll go through that in just a moment and if you are a new subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, Stampin' Up's going to send you an adorable clear block that says Paper Pumpkin. Now, if you join my Paper Pumpkin team, I will send you the two free card kits every month. This month it's this one, as long as you're active. These are the two free card kits for this month. Now, on this one, the DSP in the background might change. So here's some others that I had just put together with different DSP, but the layout will be the same. So I'm just working through a stack of paper there. Uh, and they're coming out really cute uh, because you could do anything with that leaf right there. So um, there's a video about my free card kits, but my paper pumpkin people also get them. And then they get a, um, a thank you card or a birthday card, a reusable card that they can have. Uh, and they can use for themselves or they might pass it on to someone else uh, every month. I send those out every month. Now, let's look in here and see what we have. <clears throat> you know, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin you uh, and you go over $50, like if you get the three months, you still get uh, celebration rewards this month. So don't forget that, okay? It's all, it's all good. Look at this. This part of the box... Don't, don't throw your box away and don't like scrunch it up or, or bend it or anything because see these black lines? We have to cut along these black lines, all right? We're going to make something really neat. Uh, now, here is the spot that you get, soft succulent. I'll use my full ink pad. I always save my spots. Then you get a really nice um, stamp set. Look here. Thank you. That's so nice. I love the font on that. Look at these leaves for the fall. Isn't that wonderful? Here is a happy Halloween. You're a blessing. Oh, that's sweet. I love that. I pick you every time. I pick you every time. I love that. Hey there, pumpkin. Oh, that's cute. Hey there, pumpkin. Happy Halloween. You could do, well, I don't know, something really cool. Okay, so now we always get, usually we get like a light blue paper, but this month we have like this craft looking paper. So let's see what goes on in here. Everything is in this kit that you need. The only, oh, this looks cool. The only thing you have to do is add a scissors, a pair of scissors. That's it. Let's put, oh my goodness. Aren't they adorable? Oh my. They're so cute. Okay, let's see. How many of these little guys do we get? Because. I've got, let's see how many we get in here. I'll have to open this. Um, oh my goodness, they're adorable. I use my paper pumpkin kit for my 10-year-old grandson's class for his um, Halloween party. So this might be something that I need to order extra so that I could get everybody. I have to see how many is in his class. Wow, look at that. A full kit, okay? The only thing you need, like I say, is scissors. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with these. Let's pull all of this out. How much fun. I guess we just fold those together. Look, we have glue dots. Let me take this apart. Now, let's talk about this flyer that comes with it, okay? So, here is all of the instructions. They're absolutely wonderful. And they're very, very visual. It tells you exactly, and we'll go over them. I'm going to go over everything with you while I'm putting it together. So we're just opening things up right now. But they're very visual. You have a ruler over here that is um, 18 inches long. That's very, very nice. And let's see. There's more directions, more directions. Here we are. Okay. Um, so the contents of the kids, oh, it's 12 treat boxes. 12 treat boxes that gives you the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors that go with it. Okay, and then over here, look at the turkey. Isn't that cute? Now, that would make a cute little table setting. If you're going to have a group over for Thanksgiving this year, wouldn't that look cute? That is adorable. Okay, so these are alternative projects that you can do with this kit. Uh, there's so much to do with Paper Pumpkin, and because it is in a kit and everything is included, you don't have to worry about going to the store. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. I got to pick out this. I got to add that to it. Then everything comes in here. And then like you could get refill kits. So because you're a subscriber, you get the, uh, the spot and the stamp set in the first box. And then the refill kits will have, you know, the product in it. Okay. 
and then you could always use that. But let's see what we have here. We have some tags. We've got this little guy here that's going to make a cute box. All these boxes. We're going to make all of these and decorate them absolutely adorably. That looks like soft succulent. Now, this. You see the wheel? <laughs> Here's pumpkin face. These are pumpkin faces. You know, jack-o'-lantern faces, I should say. Okay, more boxes. Leaves and stuff. I guess we're going to stamp on those. Okay, this is some adhesive. I don't know what we're going to do with that. And I don't know what we're going to do with this either. And some more boxes. But now, this. We're going to make a wheelbarrow. That, I saw a video. That is what the bottom of this box is. Is we're going to take it apart, we're going to cut it, and we're going to make a wheelbarrow. So, I'm going to come back in just a minute. We're going to put some of these together, and then we're going to get on to our wheelbarrow. And look at the these little twisty things right here. That Those are easy to twist. Because I bet you just roll these like up around, oh, you could probably use your, take your pick tool, you know, something like that, or even a pencil. To roll those around. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, back in just a second, I'll set it up and we'll start to craft. Okay, this is the cutest treat box I think I've ever made in my entire life. It's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. I'm going to be able to put some nice candies in here for Mason's class, but if you didn't want to do Happy Halloween, this would be fantastic to say thank you, okay? Just take a look at this, okay? If it says thank you or I pick you every time, okay? You're a blessing. Now, if I didn't put the face on here and didn't put Happy Halloween, just change the sentiment up and didn't use the face stickers, it makes the cutest fall treat box ever. So even though it does, it does have a Halloween theme, it's very cute, uh, but it can be altered, absolutely altered into just the cutest little treat boxes that you see that you've ever seen. And, you know, you put the little um, leaves on here, stamp them, and just put thank you here. And curl, oh, these are so cute to curl. Wait till I show you how this goes together. So we're going to do one more. I want to do the red one. Now, see, um, let me show you this. Uh, each side has, you know, you could do it either way. I mean, they've got it scored one way, but it doesn't matter. You can bend it the other, okay? Um, so this, this one I'm going to do with the red this way. Uh, let's look at this one. Here's this pattern, just like that. See, it's not Halloween-y until I make it Halloween-y, right? And so, so here's this one. See, and here's some red here. You could also, if you have our strawberry punch, wouldn't it be cute? You know those strawberry candies? Everybody loves those strawberry candies. Um, you could fill that little thing up with strawberry candies and do this side of it and put thank you or you're a blessing on it and just sit it on somebody's desk at work. Isn't that fantastic? A very, very cute and very, very versatile. I'm impressed with the way that they... Um, have this going like, yes, you can use Halloween, and no, you don't need to use it as Halloween. I'm going to bring in the cardboard that comes in the instructions. Normally, I bring in my um, uh, stamp and pierce mat, but some people don't have that. So you can use the cardboard. We are, These are all always photopolymer. I use those other leaves. Now, on this one with the red one, we're going to use these leaves. And I'm going to open my large soft succulent. I always keep, I have... I think I have every spot they've ever given me. I don't know. And probably most of them are not open. So soft succulent and right over top of this. I hope I see, I'm seeing them to the side here. Ooh, yeah, we're good. Okay. And then here. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Now these two get um, glue dots just in the center of them. And just take these little backs off. Use everything that they give you. I know people that throw these away. I'm like, wait a minute. I'll send you a stamp and you can send them to me. Because I love them. They're smaller. They're thinner. I really, I love them. I use them, I use them all the time. 
Okay, let me move this aside. All right, now uh, let's get a tag. And I am going to stamp Happy Halloween right here. Soft succulent. Oh, wait, I got a stamp, right? Let's bring this back in. Here we go. So I'm just going to stamp this down here. That nice and dark. Cute. Okay, and we'll just poke these out. Yeah, I need another kit for his class. They're going to all want these. And this is the last year because he's in the fifth grade. When he goes to sixth grade, you know, you don't send the little cutesy stuff. And so, so <laughs> isn't that funny? Okay, so that'll go down, that goes down, down. Okay, so let's go ahead. And now you can finger fold these or use a bone folder. I think finger folding them is just fine, really. I thought mine came out adorable and I didn't use a bone folder on it. That is so cute. It's just sitting here. It's like it has character. I don't know. Yeah, I'm all about it. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you have somebody, like even a neighbor, with everything that's been going on, if they've been home a lot, they might like something that says, you know, you're a blessing. Okay, so we folded everything. And now we're going, that's what these strips are for. So the long one goes right here on this tab right here. Okay. And we're only going to put one together. Because it's, it's all repetition, you know. Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to use these and go ahead and put them on the bottom here of each one. I'm kind of putting them toward the... Um, toward the... Uh, where it's bone folded, where it's, you know, where it's creased, okay, uh, scored. Wow, I lost that word, so sorry, um, where it's scored. Because if you think of it when it attaches, okay, you kind of want it to attach to the outside, right? You know, like that would be the most important part for the adhesive, okay? So f just follow me on that, okay, right here. See where I'm toward the scored line, there we go. It's pretty cool that they give these to you all cut up. Isn't that awesome? And now we're just going to take these backs off. Get this big one right here. These are just adorable. I can't wait to start cutting that wheelbarrow out. Okay. All right. There's that. Now, let's go. Oh, I missed a piece. Now, let's go ahead and put this together. So, this um, shape right here takes one of each of these, okay? Just bring them around and close them. It comes right out to the side, okay? That should be flush. That's why I'm saying to put that adhesive toward that scored edge. That's what it is, the scored edge right here. Okay, and then right here. And honest, they it comes together. Well, let's put this inside, okay? So here we're going to do two things, the bottom and the side at the same time. No big deal. Just line it up. Take your time. There you go. And push. Okay, now, what you want to do now is fold these in and fold this and, like, hook it. That's all you do. Just fold the one that doesn't have the hook inside and the ones that hook. See how it holds it in there? Because you want to make it easy for someone to open, right? Then this kind of fold in and bring this over and just attach it in and let it be like a little trio up there of little things that are hooked together. And honest, you'll get it right. See, they come. it comes right together, I promise. If you just... I had the other one came together in just a heartbeat, right? But here I am on camera, okay? So, <laughs> we'll just laugh about it, won't we? Okay. All right, so fold it in, fold this in, okay, and hook it. Bring these two in, bring this one over, and then bring that underneath and hook it. See? There, okay. <laughs> 
I can't help but laugh, okay? Because yes, it's going to happen. It is going to happen when I'm live and I'm trying to show you something. I'm like, oh yeah, this is so easy. And then, ah, oh, the whole thing springs apart. You can't help but laugh at it, right? Okay, now I took this little thing and I just, um, there's like a wire in here, okay? So it stays. Isn't that cool? So I just wrapped it around just like this. Okay, just like in here. Okay, just like that. Now, I took my, um, this little tool that I have, you guys have the take your pick, okay? This is, that's, this is the version of that. So I'm gonna do it with you guys. Now, if you want it um, tight, use this down here. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? I think the twistier the better, right? Or you could use a pencil. Put it back on there. Okay, you get in there just like that. There we go. Now we're going to bend this and pull that out just a little bit. Okay, just like that. So cute. Now I'm going to twist this one up. And if it falls off, it's okay. I'm just kind of using that as like where I need to stop, okay? So, just twist it, and twist, and then pull that out, pull these out just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's so it's stinking adorable. Let's see, I want this to hook in here just a little bit, right under there I need it. Okay, come on. You'll fool with it, it'll sit. Cross it over, okay. Ha, ah, look at that! Okay, now. What I did was, instead of putting this on and struggling with everything, I mean, the hole is so big. This is easy peasy. Just feed it through, okay? Just take one of these, and I just fed it through and let it come around the twist there at the end, you know, instead of trying to fool with everything. And, yeah, just like so, okay? We'll position that down like that and bring this one up now okay all right that's wonderful okay now our leaves we're going to go ahead and put our leaves on it and i want the leaves toward the front here on these panels just like that and that glue dot's just going to hold that on there just perfect the leaves toward the front okay now we're going to put his little face on i found that putting the smile on first helped me to now here's where you would stop here's where you would stop you might cut a strawberry out punch out a strawberry you could even um you could cut any kind of a flower and stick it on the front you could even put a poinsettia okay and and put it on here but for, uh, for his class of course i'm gonna i'm gonna make the face so i found like putting the smile on first helped and this you can reposition this how much fun is this? And then the little um, triangles for the eyes. Oh my goodness. There we go there. And I have another cute, oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Another little treat box and it's so easy for the kids to open or for anyone to open, you know? That is so adorable. Let me get this in here further around. I want it to drop down in there. There we go. And stick out just like that. So adorable. And then we have this one here. And of course, I'm going to make all of them up. Now, I'm going to come back in just a minute. And I'm go. we are going to figure out this wheelbarrow together. I'll be back. And um, that is. And then what it is is that you get to crumple up this paper okay that's why i figure i watched the video that's why um it is it is this color so you crumple it up you put it in the wheelbarrow and then you put these guys in it isn't that adorable and so that would look just so cute even a display right just a little even if you put nothing in them okay just to display them in the wheelbarrow and have it as like a um nice little fall display you don't have to put the little jack-o-lantern faces on it so um it's just, just too cute all right i'll be back in just a second and we're going to figure out that wheelbarrow okay so you want to take out these two 
um, pieces of, looks like, you know, it's black and very shiny. Okay, right there. I'm going to take those two pieces out. And the first step is to disassemble the box. So I wanted to do this on camera before I started cutting this up. Okay, so this is like locked in here, okay? And you just want to kind of bend it out and pop that out and then just fold your box totally out. Just like that, okay? And then you want to get a big pair of scissors because we're cutting cardboard here, okay guys? This is probably going to take me a little bit of the afternoon to get done. But um, where you want to cut along the black lines. Let's try it, okay? Oh, it's really not that bad. Okay. I'm going to like cut this part off and then go back in and trim. Okay, so you kind of want to cut the part of the... I'm thinking the best thing to do is to cut the part of the box away that you don't need. You know, all the bulk. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take this down and here too. Okay. And now I'm going to come back around and go right around on that black, on that edge where the black is and just trim that up. It's, it really doesn't cut too bad, actually. I thought my hands would really have a hard time with it, but they're not. So there we go. And then just come around, and like I said, each and every piece you've got to cut out. Okay? Now, let me come around there. Good. All right, I will be back in a few minutes. Well, actually, probably a while, okay? <laughs> but it'll feel like just a few minutes to you, right? And um, I'll be back in just a little bit. When I have everything cut out, I'll lay it out here, and we'll start to put this together. How much fun? Back in a minute. Okay, I've got all of my pieces cut. I keep watching the video, um, but we're going to do this in stages, okay? So, you cut out all your pieces, and these are the ones that you want first, okay? And you want it to lay just like this with the flat part on top and the rounded parts toward the bottom. Because when we put the tape, it's going to make the wheelbarrow. Okay, these two go together. The ones with have the black facing you. And then these two are going to go together, okay? They both face the same way. Mine ripped a little bit, but I'm like, hey, it's a wheelbarrow. It'll look like it's been used, right? Um, so, and maybe that's the inside, I think, yes, anyway. So that, that would be the outside, I think. Okay, so I would be happier with that anyway. Um, all right, so, and I think I need to, at, at this point, go ahead and trim down, <clears throat> you know, kind of look at things first. And then just trim it down if you need to. And I think I do need to trim this. has like a little hump. So it took a little bit to cut it out, but it wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so these two with the black lines facing you, they, they go together. Let's put that aside. And then the other two with the black lines facing you, they go together. Okay, so put those aside. Then you have this like rectangle piece the piece for the wheel, and then I'm not sure what this is for yet. I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so <laughs> so we're going to start here with the base of the barrel. And what you want to do with your black tape here is tape this as it's flat here. You want to tape it down, and then we're going to fold it up. So you want the long part right here. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm making this. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to hold it together. And kind of get it together and then get my tape right to the edge and just half and half you know just split the difference there you're good I believe and you know what you can even adjust it I feel that in it yeah I have a little wrinkle there yeah see it even it, it's forgiving it is quite forgiving okay so right there that's the inside now let's put this side together, another inside, so we'll use the second one in the, in the row, and we'll put these two together. Now, my, I haven't made one, okay, I'm making this from my kit, so I don't know. We'll see how I do. There we go. Okay, and now look, that's going to fold up just like that. So isn't that too cool? That's neat, right? Okay, now flip them over, 
and on this side you want to take the other two really long ones and put it down the outside right here oh how cute this is right that goes there <clears throat> then this one goes here wonderful okay so now what we have whoop, what we actually what we should have wait let me show you what they did bend it okay bend it and then attach your tape bend it and attach your tape okay so watch what I'm doing here I'm gonna bend it because it needs that that um, spacing right there and I'm gonna attach this tape right here Ooh, I might need to move it over right let's do that Ooh, lucky it's forgiving see it really is forgiving okay so I'm uh, this is the outside I'm gonna I want to bend it let's do that first okay split the difference now you're watching me do this you know because like I said I don't have another box so we're doing this together okay and now we're gonna bend this over I see how this works okay just like that and just kind of push your tape down gonna have to fool with it a little bit guys I do believe see I don't want to buckle right but I want and I want it to be tight to keep it together okay there we go just mess with it a little bit there ah oh, look it stayed up hey that's great okay Let's go ahead and do this other side a little bit better. So it shouldn't be flat, okay? You're just watching me do it myself, just the way you guys would be. So let's bend it. Let's split that difference there nicely. Okay, and let's fold this over while well, it's kind of on that little 90 degree angle there. Push it down. Kind of go with the oh yeah there we go go with the shape right there hey look at that that's awesome okay now <clears throat> this piece is supposed to attach right back here okay so now this we're going to do this first step and one two three four yeah then we'll do the outside okay so this inside step right here and um what we want is this top piece right here okay we want this top piece and there's two of them one on each card okay so we want this piece and the way she did it it just kind of again put it on there you're gonna have to kind of fold it and bring your cardboard up to the edge here bring your cardboard to the edge Okay, right there, right there, yep, bring it to the edge, right there. Hi, hey, that's cool, right? Look how cute. Okay, now take the um, the other one on the other card right here. And now let's go ahead and, whoop, and use this one on the outside. Remember, it's bent, okay? We need it bent. Now we're gonna put this here. Just split that difference a little bit. Hold that up just kind of in its shape and now just crease it. Oh, that came out really, really nice, guys. Hey, that's getting cuter and cuter as we go, right? Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to skip this thick one right here and we want to go to these two right here. There's going to go two on the inside and two on the outside. So um, I believe the outside would be best to do first. So we're going to hold this together, okay? And again, we're going to go half and half. See, what happens is the tape um, covers up any imperfections. I'm seeing that the tape covers up any imperfections, okay? <laughs> so here we go, right? Ah, oh, that's awesome. Now, don't worry about that in there. We're good, we're good. Okay, take the second one, right? Because here's the wheel, all right? Well, let's go outside. Look how cute that's coming. Yeah, th yeah, that's exactly what happens. The tape covers up any imperfections in the cardboard from cutting it and 
you know, just putting it together, but it's a cute little craft project, right? Let me bring this over a little bit more. I kind of didn't have it half and half. I like that it's repositionable. That makes it easy for me. Okay, I just bent it, okay? So there's that outside, adorable, absolutely adorable. Cute. Hey, we're coming along, right? That's looking like a wheelbarrow. All right, <clears throat> now, <laughs> now there's two other of the same size on the other um, sheet. We're gonna take it like this. We're going to pinch it, pinch it, pinch it like this. And you want the sticky on the outside. And what you want to do is just work it into this corner. And again, it covers up all the imperfections. And it's perfect. Look at that, how it finishes it off. I'm, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> I was worried when I was cutting this, I have to admit. Now watch, I'm going to fold it in half and just pinch and pinch right down through there. Just to give it a little bit of a crease, right? I, I have to admit, when I was cutting it, I was like, oh, I wonder how this is going to come on camera, but... If this is how mine is, this is how theirs is, and this is stinking cute. Look at that. That's nice and finished. I like that. Okay, let me move this aside. Now, let's do the wheel. So have our round shape there. I'm going to pull our wheel off. Let all your little pie pieces stay on the sticky. But you might could use those for Halloween, right? Okay, let's stick this on the center here. Beautiful. And flip it over and get the other wheel. And again, leave your pieces behind. There we go. And now, put that right there. See, like I say, it covers up any of the imperfections. Now, if you have anything sticking out, I'm actually going to reposition that. See, it? you can reposition. And then you can trim. No big deal. No big deal. Wow, they really made this easy for us. Oh, that came out perfect. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I'll go back and I'll snip a little bit just to make it, you know, like we didn't invent the wheel, right? It's round. <laughs> it's not square. It's not hexa hexagonal either with my little points here, right? <laughs> okay, that's it. That's great. All right, now, let me get set up for the next phase, and I'll be right back. Oh, let's just look at this. Ta-da! Look at that. And we're going to put these little guys on next, the sides. But I have to watch how to do it, okay? Be right back. Okay, first we're going to get these sides prepared. And what you want to do is keep them going in the same direction, okay? So I have the black lines are looking at me. These two are in and these two are in. We're going to put a piece of tear and tape right here. So let's get that going. Okay. Move those aside. One strip of tear and tape coming down through here. And I'm thinking if you don't have tear and tape, if you have seal, seal plus, I think you'll be okay. You know, remember there, this, not like it's going to get pushed through the field, right? <laughs> so it's going to be a little ornament. And then you want to put a piece out here just like that okay and then um, go ahead and peel this back I can never do that without a tool must have a tool okay a lot of times I'll just push it down with my little tool and then I get between the glue and the backing and I'm just gonna pull that back okay Alright, now, we want to go ahead and put these together. Remember, black lines facing me, I think. I hope I did that right. Okay, if we didn't, we'll know. Wait a minute. Maybe put it like this. So that we want them even. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So I'm thinking that that's going to be like this side, okay, because it's got to hold, uh, hold something up here. I'm thinking it sits, okay. 
that's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm not sure yet, or maybe it goes that way. I'm not sure. We are just putting these two things together right on this segment. So again, a little piece right here. And then, oh, I should have probably just done one, but we're good. doesn't matter as long as there's tape on it, right? <laughs> just like that. So I suppose that I would suggest first, <laughs> I should have said this at the first, watch this video first before you start putting stuff together, right? But we're all ready to this point. Just in case I do something wrong and then I have to go back and kind of fix it or explain to you what happened. So yeah, I would definitely watch it first. And then here. <clears throat> Because, like I said, I don't have a second shot at this, okay? <laughs> Not like when, you know, like when I do cards. I've always got, you know, multiple, multiple shots at that. Not at this. I'm thinking the important part is this to line up. I'm hoping that one wasn't longer than the other. And that's how they should go together. Well, this is together now. We could forget that. Okay. We're good. We'll just say we're good. And if we need to trim, we will trim. Good. Okay. So now we have these two pieces together. Okay. And um, let me see. I know this gets bent right here at these black lines. Okay. So bend these and I'll be right back and we'll put all that together. Okay. Um, we're in good shape here. We're in really good shape. I, I looked at everything and I think we're doing a good job. So these are bent. Okay. Right at those black lines. And you want to, see where, the short part right here, you want this to connect right out here. You don't want it here underneath this straight piece. You want it in the front of it and that cardboard bending back to the short part, if that makes sense. So this is going to kind of come like this. And then you're going to see we have a place right there in the front for the wheel. Okay, that's like the base. It'll go like, like that. Okay, and that'll hold the wheelbarrow up with the wheel. That's really cute, right? Okay, so what we have left are, oh, and um, plug a hot glue gun in. That's what it showed, hot glue. Okay, so I've got mine um, heating up. Uh, so these two pieces that are left, what we're going to do is make like a wrap, kind of decorative around this wheelbarrow right here. So here's our piece, and here's this. Okay, and um, we're just going to start, I'm just going to hold it flat like that, and we're just going to start with it, I guess that, um, that black line is where you start, okay, and you just want to bring it here, and then you want to just wrap it, okay, just wrap it around, so it kind of makes a little decorative piece here on the wheelbarrow, but it is holding that brace that's going to hold it up in place, okay? So there. So it should look like that, okay? So we're toward the back. This is here. We're in good shape here. This is great. Okay, let's get the other one. Oh, how much fun. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put this on that side, okay? And you know, these are just a little wonky right now to hold on to, but it's okay. You're good. Good to go. I'm going to try to kind of balance that right there. Okay. And I'm going to put that there. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure that, like, this comes on there flat. Okay. That it's not going on there on an angle. Okay. And then you're just going to take your tape. And as soon as you get it around there one time, you're good to go because then you're just wrapping it, okay? Just like so. And like I said, it's repositionable. Isn't that nice? Just, oops, just in case. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, here is, that didn't come out so hot there. That needed to be tighter, didn't it, guys? Huh? Let's see. It kind of came off of itself. Ooh. So here I am saying it's repositionable, and I've ripped it. Hold on. Let's see. If 
I can save it just a little bit. I'm going to try to take this tape off right here where the paper ripped off of it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We might just have to live with it, okay? All right. We'll just go with it, right? Okay, so remember, you got to wrap this really, really tight right there, okay? But it's going to be underneath the wheelbarrow, so it's just going to show like that, okay? So right there. Now it says, that, that really does stand up pretty nice. That is awesome. That's how it should stand up. Look. Stands up just like that. Okay. I had a little trouble. I didn't get it too too tight, but honest, it's you can't even tell. It's, a, it's fine. It's really seriously great. This is cute. Just make sure that that comes across to brace it up. And now what they're saying is to put hot glue on these little black dots and get this onto this outside part of the wheelbarrow okay now mine are a little bit off here and I want them even so I am going to just cut around them there we go just give it a little hair cut and let's see how we do with this hot glue I haven't had hot glue out in ages let's see is it gonna oh yeah it's gonna work okay so I'm going to put that there, and then this one here, okay, okay, now we're going to attach that side, and then attach this side, that's cute, all right, <laughs> that is adorable, I've just got to admit guys, they out of the box okay out of the box all right let me see how to attach the um this onto here uh, isn't that cute my wheel's a little crooked let me work with that a little bit and i'll be right back okay now i really tried hard with the hot glue okay i did not have great luck here i have to admit on the wheel i have one side that's stuck and this side would not Guys, I took my tool, I poked a hole in it, and I put a brad in it, and I thought it looked really cute. So that's that side. That's awesome. Now, look at how cute it stands up. It's perfect. Now, right for this right here, you are going to want the hot glue because this is just sits up here. So it just needs something to rest on. It's really not like positioning something. So I'm just going to take it and run a bead of it right down here, just like that. And just like that and now I'm gonna just take my wheelbarrow and put it up to my tire and let it stick on look how cute it's adorable that is really stinking adorably cute okay I've got to admit that is adorable that's really cute okay so now what they say is to take your little project there, take your paper, I'm going to cut, I'm going to rip it in half because there's, crumple it up, okay, crumple it up, so almost like a hay, I guess, right, I guess you could use some raffia also, put it in here, okay, and then, um, that's really what it needs to be down to, okay, squish it. Okay, yeah, let's put that on there. And then take your pumpkins and put them in your wheelbarrow. And that is what this little project is all about this month. A little wheelbarrow full of little pumpkin treats. It's hard to tip it up um, to show you, but it, it hooked on there really well. Uh, the wheelbarrow barrel is in great shape. Look, they fit in there so cute. Look, I can move it around and everything. It is absolutely too cute. It's really, really sweet. It, this would look great on like your desk at, at work, at home, at your craft desk, you know. But even if you went to work and took this with you, it would look really, really cute. But I hope you liked putting it together. And I hope I showed you how to do some little, you know, secrets with it and, and the what not, nots to do. And again, I had to just stick a brad in there for it to stay. So that kind of helped me out. And um, those, they're in the annual catalog, the round and square brads. We used them with the the um, whirly dies that 
we made some of some cards with. So that's what I used right there. It came out really cute. Isn't that adorable? And then there's just the little things right here and the little wheelbarrow and all of our little cute cuteness for Halloween or fall. You don't have to put the little face on it. They're cute. All right, there's Paper Pumpkin for this month. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope I helped you to put your little wheelbarrow together. Have a wonderful evening, and let's all get together and do some happy crafting.